your eyes upon Jesus and look for stay away from sounds made in his honor and today we've heard sounds made in the honor of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and his presence fills this place but it is not enough for his presence to fill this place unless everyone in the place is changed it's not enough that God's power shows up. It's only enough when everyone receives of his power. So don't look at this as a performance. Look at Jesus who has already paid the debt for your total health, total victory, total forgiveness. Restoration, total, total reckless, walking in the high places, victory. This is the day that the sounds of heaven come to New York. This is the day that the sounds of believers make joyful noises unto the Lord and sing songs of his righteousness sing songs of his deliverance sing songs of his mercy of his grace turn your eyes upon Jesus Look for in his wonderful face. When you look in his wonderful face, you cannot see your problem. You cannot see what's going on in your life that might rob you of your joy. All you can see is Jesus. All you can see is what he's done for you. All you can see is what his word said he will do for you. All you can see is his blessings being poured out upon you. See, when you create an atmosphere for God to show up, God will show up and show out. He will show up and he'll show out. So if you came in sick, expect to walk out the door here. If you came in discouraged, expect to walk out the door filled with victory in your heart. If you came in down, expect to leave up. If you came in in trouble, expect to go out delivered from all of your trouble if you came in fearful expect God's presence expect it in the balconies expect it in the very back expect it in the far ends of this place there have been many sounds made in this place 
but none as high as these sounds. Oh, for when you lift up the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, there is no sound that can compare, no sound that can come close. Oh, cause there's deliverance in that sound. There's healing in that sound. There's victory in that sound. Bless the Lord, ye his angels who excel in strength, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Do you know that when you and I lift our voices, it's the Jesus inside that is heard by all the angels. It's God. Does God live in you? If God lives in you, wave your hands. I said, does God live on the inside of you? Well, when you lift up your voice, the God that lives on the inside of you comes out into the atmosphere and His mighty power begins to do miracles. People that are sick get healed. People that are down get delivered. For no power can withstand that name that's above every name. the things of this old world will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory. Sing it again. In the light of his glory in the light of his glory and grace. I would love to tell you what I think Jesus. Since I found in him I'm here to say in New York City, no one ever, no one ever care for me like King Jesus. There's no other friend so kind as he. into your world when sounds that magnify the king are heard. Depression cannot stay when sounds that magnify and exalt the name that's above every name. Confusion and fear cannot breathe in that atmosphere. They don't have life support. No one else 
for your encouraging sounds that surround her. Let the joy of heaven come down and fill her this night. And I speak to every cell of her body and command you to come alive in the name of Jesus. For he was wounded for our transgressions. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. God of Buddha cannot do that. Transcendental meditation cannot do that. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we who walk by faith speak in faith, saying, Thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. If anybody in this place is, has any kind of sickness in your body, lift up your hands right now. Lift them up high. Don't lift them up halfway. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, right now for healing that comes to everyone with their hands in the air. We thank you, Lord, that healing is the children's bread. We give you praise right now for it. We thank you, Lord, for your delivering hand that touches everyone right now in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Can you lift your voices? Jesus now. God told me to just say this to you. Would you stand up for me? 
Stretch your arms out toward this lady. You are a lighthouse sent to spread my light because there's a fire that burns on the inside of you that you did not ignite. I ignited it. But what the Lord told me to tell you was thank you for having the courage to go where others didn't have the faith to go. Thank you for having the vision to lift up the name that's above every name in a place where it's not lifted up much. And all of heaven has stood at attention and cheered and applauded and sang as you sang and as the people sang. And when there were songs that were sung from different nations, you remember? Those songs were propelled into the heavenly realm where those nations are and principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of those nations were penetrated by light from the armies of heaven. Now you may laugh at that, but no. Every nation has a particular sound. Every nation will bow its knee and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. From Tokyo to Uganda to Moscow to Singapore to New York to Los Angeles to Mexico City to Caracas to Buenos Aires, they will all confess that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So, when you lift up your voice in your native tongue, know that those sounds are propelled and those sounds cause the King of Kings, the Lord of Glory, to stand and to be seen and recognized. <laughs> Majesty Worship His majesty. Sing it now. Oh, worship 
It's true His majesty Ain't nobody like Him I'm here to worship His majesty
are holy, Lord. You are mighty. You are worthy, Lord. To be exalted, you are worthy. You're the 
songs that flow through me. Oh, yes. Holy is your time. The gentle and mighty. Great is your love for me. ovation of the whole day. Come on, New York. The Bible says to clap your hands, all of you people. And shout. Can anybody shout? Stand right here beside me. When David was an old man, all glory, all honors him. When David was an old man, the Bible accounts that he had given of his treasure to build the tabernacle that was to be. He had assembled all of the people and something fell on the nation of Israel. And they began to give. We're not receiving an offering. But they began to give out of a heart to please God. And David gave of his treasure to build God's house. You remember the story. All of a sudden, something came upon David and he said, God, I live in a castle, but you live in a place with curtains. I want to build you a house. When any man or any woman gets it in their heart, God, I want to build you a place. That man or that woman is never the same. That man or that woman is never the same. And he prayed a prayer in Chronicles. It goes like this. 
Hallelujah. Oh, just everybody stand up. You've been sitting long enough. Have you? For yours, oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the victory. that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours and yours it is to be exalted as head over all say this with me Lord you are head over all you are head over my life you are head over my family over my provision and now therefore I give praise to you and I bless your name and I lift up my voice and I say there's none like you <laughs> do you mean that all glory and all honor be unto you my Lord sing it again all glory and all I lift my heart to you and I magnify your mighty name for you are worthy my sweet Lord you're worthy to be praised for you
to say to all of the next generation. This is not the time to wait. This is the time to begin to advance. Because the word says the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and his Christ. And every generation, be it known that you are responsible to contact and to influence your generation. You're not limited by your generation, but you have a command assignment to touch and impact your generation. If you're a young person in this place, lift up both hands right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we call for your destiny to come forward now. In the name of Jesus, we call for God's assignments to come to you now and for you to wait no more. This is not the time to wait, this is the time to advance. This is not the time to wait on someone else and say, well, Lord, maybe it's not your timing. Your timing is now. It has begun because every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord of Lords and many will come because of an assignment that God gave someone else. The gospel was always intended to be handed to one another, arm in arm, voice to voice. Did you hear what I said? Just say this with me, Lord. I accept your assignment in my life. Did you hear what you just said? That means whatever provision is needed for you is already there. That means whatever door needs to be opened is already open. Don't wait on the door to open. Command the door to open. Don't wait on the opportunity. Call for the opportunity to come in your life. Because you're built just like God. God creates with sounds that he makes. I want everyone to sing this with me, Kevin. Just straight. so merciful and mighty God in three persons oh blessed trinity Father, we magnify you. Jesus, we exalt you. Father, there's none like you. Holy. Father, you are holy. And your Lord, God Almighty. And early in the morning, my song will rise to Thee. My Jesus, You're so holy, You're holy, holy. Father, You're so merciful and You're mighty. God in three. Her sons, oh, bless 
centrality. Thank you.